Stephanie Laley. I'm your host, Stephanie Torgerson, and today we're going to be talking about pop culture with three of the industry's biggest names, starting with Peyton Decker, right here. Peyton Decker, you're really, really big in the music industry. You've produced a lot of videos, uh, been around a lot of stars, some of the up and rising stars we're going to see coming out here in a few years. Uh, our next guest is Jessica Vanderwoodson. Am I pronouncing that correct? All right. <laughs> Jessica Vanderwoodson, uh, another big, big name, only she's got the movie star scene for us uh, going into some of Katy Perry's documentaries and uh, recently Miley Cyrus's documentary as well, and we'll get into that later. And finally, we have Ashley Fleming, who flew all the way out from Norway to come speak. Uh, be here and talk with us today. So, uh, big in fashion, ladies, I just want to thank you profusely right away for being here with me and uh, talking to us today. So we're going to start with the celebrity scene. And uh, what I really, really want to talk about here, as I said, we'll get back to it, Miley Cyrus's performance at the VMAs. Let's, let's hear some thoughts and comments about that. We hear a lot about it uh, just in everyday life so far. So what do we have from the three of you guys? I think it was ridiculous and uncalled for and a cry for attention. Or help. That too. <laughs> a cry for help. Uh, maybe some mental problems? Very or just uh, inappropriate, definitely. Yeah. Um, no one asked to see that. It wasn't called. No. <laughs> uh, what about what about you, Jessica? I'm just speechless. I mean, I get the point that she's trying to make like a point in history, you know, but she took it a little too far over the edge. I all agree here that it was just not appropriate. Gotta say that girl got something coming to her. <laughs> uh, let's move on. Uh, the Great Wall of China, where he had his bodyguards actually carry him. He refused to step on the Great Wall of China. I suppose that doesn't count into the adult category. Definitely. No, no. no. Yeah. Also a cry for attention right there. Yeah. Another cry for attention. So we're seeing a lot of similar a lot of similarities between the two. And then also we're seeing a yeah. uh, let's talk about a lighter topic, something oh, not as crazy. Uh, catching fire is going to be coming out here really, really soon. Uh, so, what do you guys think? What do you think? I'm excited. Excited? <laughs> Can I get some elaboration <laughs> on <off? Yeah. laughs> okay. it? It's a big book trilogy, and the first movie had so much hype, and it turned out really good. So, the second movie is going to have so much way, way more hype. And do you think maybe the fact that everyone is anticipating it to be just this huge phenomenon that that might actually take away from the actual movie experience and it might turn out just a hair I under what people think so, are thinking? Yeah. I think maybe. our expectations are a little bit too high for this movie. It is. It's not the first one, so it might be hard to capture to that get. that beginning flame mm -hmm. that was captured in the first one. Um, you know. Talking to you, uh, let's uh, let's talk about something that's come from your side of the world here. That's really really popular here in the United States. Uh, tell me, you know, can you answer this question for me? What does, what the, does the fox say? Yeah. Uh, and what does Norway say about the fox? <sighs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Really. Um, we have a comedy show where I'm from. Uh, two brothers, they do their own thing. It's uh, Elvis? Elvis Brothers. Elvis yeah. Brothers? All right. um, they have their own show. Uh, they make up songs. They do this all the time. <laughs> this one just hit it off, really. So, um, I mean, it is kind of embarrassing. Has I Norway it. heard of this song? And is it just as big as no, uh, it's not really big at all. No. It really isn't. It's just. It's more of the. Outfits yep. for having you wear today, tucked in the back, and no Definitely. one wants to see them. Yeah, no, we uh, we're not too into that stuff. So it's it's funny that it's so popular here, and back home it's it's nothing. <laughs> I want to go through one more thing. Let's talk about some fashion. Let's talk about fashion here, girls. Um, 
And I want to start with uh, who wore it better because we saw a lot of uh, the same dresses or roughly the same ideas from multiple stars on the red carpet this year. Uh, let's start with uh, Kim Kardashian and Gwyneth Paltrow in a two-piece black gown. Who wore it better, ladies? Uh, I mean, this is not even a question that should be asked. Um, Kim definitely does look a lot better. Her curves um, really shows off, and it, it's good in this picture. I it hugs it in the right places, but I'm yeah, not quite the wrong one. I would never consider this outfit. <laughs> um, Kim, for sure. Uh, she really just has a striking appearance to her that goes well with this dress and how it's very different in design, but it's not something that would be my problem. Uh, before we sign off for the day, Jordan Sparks and uh, Demi Lovato in a black and blue gown. Stunning on both of them, but uh, who wore it better? I mean, they were both beautiful girls. Uh, they're very different. I mean, uh, Jordan is very dark. Darker skin, darker hair, everything, and Demi is not. Um, I gotta say though, with this dress, Jordan does look stunning. So All right. definitely Jordan. All right, and uh, Jessica. Well, there's not much more that I can add to that. I do agree, definitely to Jordan. That pulls it off way better. Um, her dark hair goes well with that navy blue color, and her skin tone, once again, <laughs> just tops it off. I think Jordan pulls it off. I think Demi would have been fine if she didn't have the next okay. uh, I think that's all the questions I have for you guys. I want to thank you again for being here. Uh, let's give a round of applause for Peyton Decker, uh, Jessica Bonder, Vander Woodson, <laughs> and uh, Ashley Fleming for being here and talking to us today. Uh, thank you for watching Stephanie Lately. We will be